What's up guys? I have another video for you guys. It's a front bumper removal on a 2018 Chevy Silverado. Um, I had my camera on my head, on my head strap, and it was kind of hard to tell what I was capturing while I was filming, so some of it didn't come out in the picture. But I tried to explain it afterwards on a different clip, but just check it out and let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys can understand what I'm talking about. Peace. So this is the Silverado I'm working on. I have to remove the fender, remove the door, remove the bed assembly, and remove the rear bumper. I might do it in segments, I don't know, not too sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But I have to do all of this to get access to the rocker. And I'm actually replacing the inner rocker. Wherever the running boards were at, it got smashed. And whenever it was wrecked, it ripped out the location where the boats go. So I have to replace the inner structure. And as you can see here at the lower left upper corner, it actually detached from the from the actual floor of the inside itself. So I don't know, I might do it in segments. Let me know what you guys think if you guys want to see that or not. But anyway, let's jump straight to it on the bumper removal. What you have to do first is remove this upper shield. I don't know what it's called. This upper, yeah, upper shield, I guess. Upper radiator support baffle. But it has some push-in clip retainers on it. And I just wedged my panel clip removal tool in between the head and the actual clip itself and pry it up. And it has about 10 or so. And I'm removing these individually, as you can see. And yeah, that's you remove this to get access to the grill, the upper part of the grill, which holds four 10 millimeter bolts that you need to remove to get the grill off by off itself. And this is the last one here, and then it just comes right up. And then I store it away in my parts car. After I do that, I go ahead and get my 3 8 impact gun, and I start removing the 10 millimeter bolts that I was talking about. And then as you guys can see in the next clip, I'm going to show you guys. It has like a little guide that goes in between the radiator support and the grill, which you have to pry and wedge apart so you can remove the grill. So I remove that part and then I leave this one wedged here, this panel clip removal tool, and then I grab my other one and I leave that one there so it can be a wedge in between and I start removing the other two. If not, it'll like slide back into place by itself and you have to keep doing it until it actually releases. But then you just pull firmly from the you pull firmly on the grill and it just comes right off. It has like a like a pressure clip kind of thing. There's no bolts behind it. After I do this, I go ahead and go to the underside of the truck, which was what I was talking about earlier, and I remove the two 15 millimeter bolts that are one on each side. On this one, you can't really tell. I think the other side is a little more visible, but I remove that one, then I go to the left side, and you can see it right there, right where the light is at. But I explain it afterwards. I remove this 15 millimeter bolt, And this is where I explain it. It's basically this bracket that goes from the frame rail to the bumper. And the 15 millimeter bolt is hanging up top like that. And it just comes, you just remove it and that's it. And like I said, it has one on each side. And then on this upper frame rail, it has two, two bolts. One on the top and one behind it. And it has two on each frame rail. So you remove both of these and it removes the bumper. And then of course, just make sure that your wires are disconnected and that you removed it from the bumper. So you can pull it apart. But I remove those two and I remove the two on the other side. Once I do that, it's ready to come off. And I asked for help because this is a pretty heavy bumper and I don't want to scratch it or damage it. But that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys around on the next video. Peace.